My name is Saurav Sen. Uh, I'm a senior consultant uh, for media for uh, Vigyan Prasar, which is a unit of uh, the Department of Science and Technology, which is in turn a part of the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. I was brought in as a consultant to uh, start the whole process of launching a science channel for India. It was mandated from the top that India, uh, with, a, with a huge youth population, requires a science channel of its own to disseminate science uh, content, to build scientific temper among uh, you know, the, the school children, the youth and the public at large. It has never happened before in the history of independent India that the government of India has launched a television channel of its own and has uh, generated content on a day-to-day -day basis like any other television channel. We launched the Science Channel in January 2019 and uh, there are two legs to it. One is of course DTH, which is called uh, DD Science, and one is uh, the internet channel, which is an OTT, which is called India Science. It was about cloud from day one. We had to set up an infrastructure which was ideally suited for the kind of content that we were preparing with a very high shelf life, with a very high possibility of uh, ease of search and discovery, and of course for frame by frame meta tagging, etc., so that researchers, students, academics, professionals, etc. could find the content at ease. There are limitations to what we are able to use. Uh, the OTT platform is running and of course sometimes uh, we do make use of the live uh, coverage of events, etc. We have uh, Tata Communications as our execution partner um, who in turn uh, fall back on AWS to give us the services that we do. We worked with them uh, to understand the requirement then work with the solution architects from AWS to create a solution which was apt for them today, but also would help them scale as they would scale with the number of subscribers watching these uh, uh, channels uh, from uh, Vigyan Prasar basically. We've gone online, obviously the scale ha is yet to come, but what we have seen with them is so far their adoption rate is good. They have not faced any problems when they came onto AWS platform and uh, uh, they see that it is a platform which is stable from an availability perspective, from a performance which they want. And looking at the media uh, uh, space, AWS had a lot of reference customers where they had done similar things. In India, they had done it for other channels basically. And that's something which was a good reference case for our customer here. And that's, that gave them confidence to work on AWS platform and us managing that for uh, them. And, and that's something which kind of helped them to decide on AWS and Tata Communication as, as a managed services partner. And uh, going forward, as the audience size uh, goes up, as the uh, reach goes up for the channel, we are going to keep adding resources at the AWS end to give the audience a very seamless experience.